Okay, well, we've finally reached here, the final day of Season 8 on the Starters Order 6 Online League. The final, I think, 13 races today. We'll start with race 25, which is going to be the Summer Plate Listed Handicap Chase over at Market Raisin. It's a two-mile, six-furlong handicap chase, and there's a fairly good field in here. We've got uh, eight to conclusion, pulled up on its last two starts, um, dropping into a chase. It's a 169 rated hurdler. Then there's Burntwood for Martin Leadham. A 127 rated chaser should go well. Frantic Belcor of David Robertson's rated 131, but had some really awful form in the past four weeks. A couple of uh, Del Hinton horses again will probably pop up. James Yogi and Hollywood broke the gate. Both uh, quite nice ratings in uh, the summer plate. Then we move on to race 26 and we go over to Cartmel. This is a three mile two handicap chase. It's been really good this week. There's been a lot less G races. It's been uh, open for everybody. There's a big nice field to go in here. Um, um, wouldn't like to even point out again we've got top rated hurdlers running in chases the cone for david robertson's a 164 rated hurdler there's a 120 rated chaser won't be top weight it'll be molly it's surfers break free will be the top of the pile there um, and we'll probably go well you've got napoleon's boots in there stu as well running off 117 should go well 126 rated tina's apple for darren thompson was a winner two back so probably has a chance then race 27 still over at Cartmel it's a two mile handicap hurdle this time top of the pile is going to be game set match for Joshua Sutherland 118 how many times have I mentioned uh, yeah, Joshua's name in the past 13 weeks probably more than anybody else's um, but then I guess that's what comes from being at the top uh, a few others in there you got party doctor Stu Gray running off 99 winner two back legends mark for Derek Hinton a winner last time out so again uh, really open race that and then race 28 the apple tree motorhome hunters chase which is a two mile two and a half furlong hunter chase again this time at Stratford I don't think we've been to Stratford this season really open it's a naught to hundred chase to be honest with you the only one that's in there is a little bit of form is Mutanaka Black from Darren Howes came second last time out and Russian Fox Bat of Martin Needham's who was third race 29 will be the per attempts network fox hunters chase again at Stratford over three mile two furlongs it's a naught to hundred as we know as our hunter chases are looking at the field there I'd say one probably will go off favourite. That's one of my horses. The only one with uh, came six and fourth in its last two races, and I'm going to think that's going to be favourite. But you got excellent down at the bottom for Doug Warren, six and fifth in his last two races. The rest of them have got no form at all. Though there is uh, another Derek Hinton horse in there called James Gray. So uh, good luck with that one. So race 30, that'll be the Topol Handicap Hurdle at Newton Abbott this time. Oh, there's a two mile six hurdle some good horses in here it's a open hurdle so you've obviously got a 134 rated darren thompson san yokin hex of life is a 118 hurdler but 136 rated chaser battle for spa 115 rated hurdler 162 rated chaser so there's only a few actually there that look like they actually go over hurdles so good luck to everybody in that one race 31 that'll be the lord mild main memorial chase a two mile one handicap chase again it's open so anything could be in this and it's exactly the reverse as the previous race you've got 169 rated hurdler going in this but it's 130 rated chaser so it's a fair chaser and then darren thompson's fired earth is a 166 hurdler uh, a 127 chaser so it's all been a bit mix and match in this last week i guess it's because there's not enough hurdle races or not enough chase races for the right distances and that moves on to race 32 and we get to the paul moore's handicap final the first of the two is over the grand national fences at aintree over three miles and five furlongs small field in it i think two four six eight about nine go to post nothing with a great deal of form of late sharma blue of daniel french was second last time out but the rest are all uh, a little bit sketchy so i think anything could win that then we move on to the big one which is the four miles three and a half furlong grand national chase over the grand national course for the pools more handicap final where you obviously have to qualify in the past the previous 11 weeks a lot of uh, x Grand National Horses in there, Grip It and Tip It, Fast Boy, Pray for a Miracle, Darjeeling, Spine, Name Check Hotel. I think they all went to the National, Macarena, Zelade Manana. If I had to stick my neck out and the form he's in, Derek Hinton to win it with Grip It and Tip It. Then we move on to the Starters Orders Finals, which is the Hurdle Final and Chase Final. First up is the Hurdle Final. It's only rated a 0-120, so it's quite a small field have gone to post here. Pearl Necklace, as serious as Chill. 
two out of its previous four starts. It's won. Must go well here again off 106. Although it will be top weight. Um, so a little bit unfortunate, along with Loud Downs of Darren House, Brer Rabbit of Martin Leedham's in there off 103. I quite like My Horse, Disney's Nightmare, down the bottom off 90. We should go quite well. Then we move on to the Chase version, the Chase final. Now this is a 160. Chaser, so you've got some better quality horses in here. You've got Attorney General, winner of its previous four starts of Paul Rhodes, um, probably favourite. Eagles landed for Joshua, um, a better rating on hurdles and it has over the fences but we'll be get, getting 10 pounds from Paul Sauce. Then you've got Ralph of James Forrest, Mad Manny of Carl Aragante but nothing else has really got a lot of form in there. Attorney General to take that one. Then the last two races which is race 36 and race 37. Race 36 is uh, my favourite races of the week, the bumper although this is over one mile six. The usual suspects of it's all in the hips of porn stars. Though you can enter a couple in here. Golden Highway of Paul Rhodes is going to go as well. Toys O' Valley of Darren Thompson's won its last two starts. Kingdom Rounds one last time out for Joshua Sutherland. Um, although Toys O' Valley is a 170 rated chaser, Kingdom of Animals is a 150 rated chaser, and they're going over a one mile six uh, flat race. Well, good luck in that. And then the final race of uh, the final day of the final week will be a hunter's chase over at Aintree on the Grand National course over two mile six furlongs. Something for all us a little people to try and win and get the last race of the week. Not any form in it at all. Um, I'd have to say man from Afghanistan for Martin Leedham. He's got, he's got a second in the previous four, so he has a chance. So good luck with that. So that's it, guys. That's the entire time. The theme pew, tune I was playing in the background was good old Brian Moore's the big match which was on Sundays on ITV about half past one and all that uh, leads us to say is obviously a big thank you to everybody that obviously makes the league happen from our commander-in-chief Graham Clutterbuck, our Tom Meister of Leon Van Rensburg, the two handicappers that uh, the whole league wouldn't work without them, a serious chill for the flat, Graham Clutterbuck on the national hunt, the guys that run the races, that's uh, John Morgan, Joshua Sutherland, Graham Clutterbuck, Django, and then the comms team, which is Tim Sandyman, Mike Tartaglia, Doug Warren and Martin Leadham, and I think I think that's everybody covered. If I've missed any of you out, then I'm sorry. Good luck, and well, I might see you in 95 days' time. Goodbye.